Hi everyone, <clears throat> I'm Stefan Kinnick and today is PHP for Dummies Day 11. What we're going to be learning today is uh, the for each statement using arrays. The for each statement is a, uh, a statement, a function if you will, uh, that will allow you to pass different, uh, different, uh, much, a lot of data in arrays. So just continue watching the video and I'll show you what I mean. Okay. So what I've got here is a file open called index.php in my WAM folder. What we're going to do, we're not going to write, be writing any HTML in this uh, lesson. What we're going to do, we're going to uh, open our PHP brackets and close them out. And then we're going to create an array in a variable. So let's create the variable names and set that to an array. Uh, we could, like so. And the names will be John, Kevin, and my name, Stefan. Now let's say we want to display these names. What we could do, we could just type echo uh, names. Let's go see what that gives us in Chrome. Okay, so it's um, echo array. Now let's say we want to echo a specific name in that array because obviously uh, PHP doesn't understand when we echo the whole array it doesn't understand that we want us that that we want to echo all the names. So uh, right now we'll just go and see if we can echo one name. Okay, so I'm going to create a variable called John, and we'll set that to our array. And John is the first one, but since in arrays it starts counting from zero, we need to put zero. And instead of uh, echoing names, we could echo John. Let's go have a look at that. Right. Whoops, sorry, I uh, forgot to add an S to names. Sorry. Okay, let's go see how it looks like. Okay, so it's working properly. It's echoed our first name, John. Now, what if we wanted to echo each name and then put it on a different line each or add some style to it? Well, I'm going to show you all of these, the following things in, the, in on Notepad now. Okay, so if we want to echo all of the names, uh, we, we need to use a statement called for each statement. So what the way this works is you write, type for each and then in a uh, Parentheses, uh, you, you uh, type names. So it's going to say for each, uh, e for everything in the array of names, and then we, and to take it as a new variable called uh, display. So, so far we've got for each name in the array which is contained in the names, give it, assign it to the variable display. Then we need to uh, echo our display and we'll add some HTML, a break tag. So in case you still haven't understood what's happening here, it's taking the first name, John, assigning it to the variable display, echoing the name John and adding a break tag. Then it goes to the second name, which is Kevin, and does the same thing and so on. So let's go have a look in uh, Chrome and see what's happening here. Alright, so uh, it's, it's echoed, it's displaying all of our names. Uh, this is a very useful function if we've got a long array and we don't have, want to have to type each echo for each array, for each uh, piece of data in the array. Now I'm going to teach you how to uh, add some style to this, uh, to this function. Okay, so let's say we want to put it in bold. You've already seen that we can insert HTML and PHP using the double quotes. Now we do the same using the double quotes for the bold tag, which is simply B. Oops, so I've got my caps lock on. And uh, we don't forget the dot sign, just to add it. And in the, next to our break tag, we can simply add a slash B to let HTML know that we're finishing the bold. So let's go see what's uh, what's happening here. 
Alright, so let's put all our names in bold. Alright, so um, that's PHP for Dummies Day 11. Today we learned about how to, the for each statement and how to display various data from an array stored in a variable. And uh, hopefully you really knew this, but if you didn't, uh, you've learned, also learned that you can Im embed uh, HTML in PHP using double quotes. Uh, this works for almost all HTML. So thank you for watching, and if you enjoy my video tutorials, please feel free to subscribe to my channel.